Good evening. I have four screwdriver antennas and the controllers have went bad on several of them so I've decided to build a new controller. I'm going to use the connector for a tar heel, a switch to make it go up and down, a momentary contact switch to actually supply power, and I went to the local pilot and got a power cord that was intended for a CB radio. Cut the end off of it because the connector wasn't right. So I'm going to wire that into a project box that I got for a dollar at a ham fest. So I've already cut the holes for the momentary contact and the direction. So what I'm going to do, the power cord is going to enter this side. I'll demonstrate this as I go, but I'm going to wire the power to the middle and then I'm going to wire these so this would be up and this would be down. Okay, I've got a, a low power soldering iron and a high power soldering iron. This one's about 15, this one's 60. What I'm going to do is wire the power connector to the middle. What I want to do is pre pin the tabs. This is a 60 watt iron. It does not take long to heat something up. And I want to address these just a little. I also want to pre tin copper. And if you just touch the if you just touch the solder to the wire, if it's hot enough, it'll melt. There's no reason to touch the soldering iron itself. Those cables are actually getting hot to my touch. That seems to be a good connection. So that'll get power to the central strips. What I need to do is wire this connection to this one and this one to this one. And that way when, I, when the switch is activated, the power will re be reversed and that'll be my up and down. So I've got a couple of wires. Go ahead and tin. Okay, so let's get started. Now I've got them on there, I pull on them to be sure they're a good connection. So what this thing is, is the power goes to the center connectors, and then power will be applied to each one, but each side is the reverse. So I really need one connection, since these are all wired to, since this is wired to this, I only need one connection. Okay, I also need a push button switch to actually activate. So what I need is a connection from this, and then this back to It's kind of hard not to get the cables in the way on this one. I'm just going to lay this in there. Just going to lay this in there. Heat that up. Melt everything. Let it solidify. So what we have is a switch that's going to reverse the power for each direction. There's my antenna connection. And this is allowing, and this will apply power. Put it back in this box. There you go. 
very little sticking out on the outside, only what is absolutely required. So that's going to work good. Center is neutral, which means nothing is engaged. And I bought this switch specifically for that reason. I want to be able to set that to the middle. I want that to be middle with the power off and then I'll adjust this so it's up, down, neutral, up, neutral, down. The intent is to make this very difficult to accidentally turn on. How this is going to work is you'll plug this into your car and neutral you hit the button nothing happens up you hit the button and the antenna goes up you let off it stops so you can fine tune the screwdriver antenna and all of this is meant to be a safeguard against accidentally leaving the antenna on so it has a fuse so if this accidentally gets left on it'll blow the fuse before it'll burn up the antenna but I still want to build that in so now I will I will put zip ties to make strain relief for these cables. I'll put them through these little holes, and strap them down, and that'll keep these from being pulled loose. So there's a nice and nice quick antenna controller. You can make this in a different size box, of course, and the components can change. You don't need the momentary switch. You can just use the up down, and you don't need the center off. But, I like that. <clears throat> okay, this switch I got at a ham fest for about $2. This switch I got at Radio Shack. It's the same type, center, off, up, down, double pull, double throw. I got this at Radio Shack for about $15. And it's plastic and cheap. The one I got at the ham fest is metal and feels very nice and I think will last a lot longer. Although I do like this little blade handle. It does make it a little easier to use sometimes, but not hung up on that. So I'm going to go ahead and make another one as a spare, but this is what I'll use as my main antenna controller. It doesn't have lights on it, but that wasn't a requirement for me. I just needed something that worked. So if you uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit like, thanks for watching.